uh, the loners. The Terra Luna Classic community started voting again on a highly debated proposal to increase the validator set on the blockchain. The move comes after Terraform Lab and Du Quan agreed to settle with the U.S. SEC for $4.5 billion. The proposal aims to bring Luna V2 validators to Terra Classic after the TFL and SEC settlement, bolstering the network's decentralization and benefiting the LUNC community. Uh, proposal 1216 inch increase validator active set to 130 is currently undergoing governance voting on the station wallet. Uh, if passed, the Terra One Classic community will increase the validator limit uh, to 130 from the current 100 as they would to uh, welcome back validators from uh, Terra Luna V2 uh, after Terraform Labs and the U.S. SEC settlement, expanding that uh, the validator set to 13 L will strengthen Terra Classic Network's decentralization and benefit the Lung community. And at press time, use it help you leave the proposal program has received 38.04% yes votes. And so the after top validator all nodes voted no, citing the amount of LUNC required to get into the active set is not burdensome. Nevertheless, the proposal received 93.43% votes from delegates, indicating major support from the community. Among validators, 16 voted in favor of the proposal, while five voted no, one no with veto, and four abstain votes. Vegas Node, Jesus is Lord, Matawa, Solid Vote, Hexagon, and other validators voted in favor of the proposal. Uh, Terra Classic ecosystem tokens hitting resistance levels to gain upside momentum, but failed to break the levels amid uncertainty in the crypto market. Uh, you know, LUNC price jumped 2% in the last 24 hours, but gave up most gains once again. The price currently trades at 0 0.00009079, with a 24-hour low and high of trading volume decreased by 45% in the last 24 hours, indicating a lack of interest among traders. That number makes the best important in terms of traders and 66 cents. For what uh, futures traders are mainly moving LUNC prices, uh, as per CoinGlass data, uh, the total LUNC futures open interest jumped over 4% in the last 24 hours, but traders sold LUNC in the last few hours. Meanwhile, USTC price also fell more than 1%, with the price currently changing hands at $0 dollars the 24-hour trading volume saw a 63% drop in the last 24 hours as traders failed to hold the recovery. The STC hit a 24-hour high of 1,090,072 million. A Ripple XRP case update June 20th, uh, Judge Torres was right on XRP. SEC may not appeal. After uh, Binance and Upbit announced Layer Zero listing, uh, Bitwise CEO hints a major announcement. Uh, Spot E3TF launched likely by July 4th.